I am in Trinidad Park in southern Colorado near the New Mexico border. You can see it's some gorgeous landscape here. I'm a little out of breath. We're at about eh, 6,000 feet. And climbing up this little hill here is kind of tough because it's mostly sandy, gritty rock, and it's at a pretty steep angle. It makes it hard. But it's totally worth it because check this out. You see this right here? This gray layer in between this rock above it and this more crumbly stuff below it. That is the KT boundary. That is the Cretaceous tertiary layer. Everything below this, dinosaurs. Everything above it, no dinosaurs. This is the layer that was deposited by the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. It's uh, called the KT boundary because of uh, K and T, Cretaceous and Tertiary. It's actually C for Cretaceous, but CT was already called something, so they had to call it something else, and they call it K. So good enough. But you can see it's a different color than the rock below it, the rock above it. And that's uh, it's composed of different materials. A lot of that is asteroidal material. There is iridium in there, a heavy element that uh, is very uncommon in the Earth's crust, but much more common in asteroids. And this was, in fact, what, what geologists and uh, uh, scientists like that called the smoking gun. We didn't know that an asteroid impact had wiped out the dinosaurs. When I was a kid, that was one of the biggest mysteries in science. But these guys came up with the idea that it was an asteroid impact, and people said, well, maybe, but you don't have any evidence. And then they found this, as well as a ginormous crater in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, the, what's now called the Chicxulub impact. And clearly that was an asteroid impact, and it's dated to roughly 65 million years ago. So uh, that seems to be pretty much that. It closed the book on what happened to the dinosaurs. And what happened to them is this.